And in the red corner, Pai Nung, Wong Wisek Kim. He's 18 years of age, started fighting with 12. He's 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighs 105 pounds, 22 fights for 6 losses only, and 10 draws. And his opponent in the blue corner, Silver Chat, Chaw Gang Mani. 16 years of age, started fighting with 10. He's 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighs 105 pounds, 23 fights for 5 losses and two draws. There's the sounds of the Ra Mue Orchestra. And there's the, the style of the Ra Mue by Pai Nung. Pai Nung in the red and white. And there on the blue down doing his wire crew is Silipa Chart. Silipa Chart in the blue corner. Interesting enough that the the dance of Ramue is catching on around the, the world, particularly where where the uh, the main kickboxing circuits and are operating. You'll see the ties moving in and out of rules, and uh, they still carry though their Ramue into the ring, no matter what the rules are. And interesting enough, of course, is that the the ties can win in kickboxing even though they have their weapons of knees and uh, even leg kicks taken away from them they're still able to to uh, effectively fight against the best but here in Muay Thai it's all weapons and that's the weapons of the knees the feet and the kicks the knees and the elbows the elbows are a legitimate weapon of Muay Thai Round one, and starting off the proceedings with a fast, snappy right cross was Silipachat. Now Pai Nung in the red corner, he likes to grapple and use his knees, and he'll be trying to get in close, while Silipachat is a tactician. He'll be moving around the ring, he'll be working out tactics to win this fight. Pai Nung will be looking to get into the grapple. He doesn't do it in the first round, expect it in the second. Right now though, Pai Nung is spearing out the punches as he tries to get into close quarters. Cheap push kick by Silipa Chart. Silipa Chart now into the grapple with Pai Nung. Now, this is what Pai Nung is strong at, the grapple and the knee. There goes the knees of Pai Nung. Mixing it with a punch. The knee grapplers like to sort of spend a bit of time in the sort of softening up process. They like to get in and grapple and then drain the opponent of his energy and then start to fire in the knees that score the points and then can set up a knockout. And you'll see a lot of fighters who, who specialise on the grapple on the knee. They, they spend 10 to 15 rounds at a time just grueling through the hard yakka of the grapple. It really does test the fighter's strength. Find them there. Moving in on to Silver Chart. Silver Chart extending the knee in defensive mode. Well what tactics will Pine Nung but will Silver Chart adopt against the knee grapple tactics of Pai Nung? Pai Nung. They're already making it clear that he intends to come in and get his knees working. And what will Silver Chart do? There's the grapple now. 
and there's a good knee by Silipachat, and there goes Pine Nook into his knee movement. And you can see that the tactics there of Silipachat were to break it with a roundhouse kick. And that worked effectively in that round, but um, can he do it in the second? And third, and fourth, and fifth. So it's going to be a hard tussle here for Silipachat. He's up against a very determined fighter in Pai Nung. Pai Nung will no doubt try to rough things up in the next couple of rounds. And there's, his, there's the power of Pai Nung, and uh, he can see Silver Chart flatten his back on the canvas. No scoring, but certainly power. There's Silver Chart. Trying to get his knees working. Knees by Pai Nung. By Nung being forced in up against the ropes. Knees to the thigh being administered there by Silverchart. Mixing it around, then he goes into roundhouse kicks, teeth push kick, keeping Pinong away. Pinong, there he goes, in for his grapple. That's what he wants to do, grapple a knee. That's the tactics of Pinong. Grapple knee, grapple knee. And Silverchart will be using his tactics to mix it up and give away from the kneeing in the grapple. There's that roundhouse kick by Silverchart, and again by Silverchart, that's nice work by Silverchart. That's very effectively keeping Pinung away. There he goes again. Look, he's found a weakness there in Pinung. Pinung, in getting ready for the grapple mode, is holding up his elbows quite high, and that's leaving an opening for the roundhouse kick to move into the side of the ribcage. So, Silverchart, smart and been able to pick that weakness now and he's been able to ram those roundhouses underneath the guard like that against Pinell. So Pinell will need to watch that. He could expose himself to some damage with roundhouse kicks into the grapple. This is Pinell at his strength. Pinell in the red, scoring with the hard knees to the body. Silver Chart breaks away by moving around and then you watch him use the roundhouse kick to keep away. Punches, roundhouse. Moving away from that's tactics again, blocks on his the shin. Sort of a chart, using the ring to his advantage. There's that high attacking mode of Pai Nung which exposed himself and there's the hard roundhouse kicks by Silver Chart. End of round, and uh, that was a good round by Silipachat. He was able to get his roundhouse kicks moving very, very effectively. He saw the, saw the up, and there he goes, in with those roundhouse kicks, shooting underneath the elbow of Pai Nung. And now see the way Pai Nung holds up his hands very high, and that gives the opening for Silipachat, the tactician, to exploit. Well, this will this is developing into a very intriguing fight. Tactician versus the knee grappler. Pai Nung in the red, the knee grappler. He's got the chance to grapple now. And there's Silver Chat responding with roundhouse kicks. Into the grapple. Pai Nung got the vice grip on him now. Here's his chance to go kneeing. Silver Chat swings him around and forcing the referee to break. Good roundhouse there by Silver Chat. Knees by Pai Nung in the grapple, that's his forte. Bottled up and the referee breaks. Desperation there by Pai Nung, won't, won't let Silver Chat go. Silver Chat trying to come back with knees himself, forcing Pai Nung onto the ropes. Pai Nung the grappler, wanting to get into close quarters. 
Takes a hard roundhouse to the side of the rib cage. Silver Chat moving around the ring now. Nina again with a roundhouse to the body, then it fires up the knee. Breaks the, the onward grapple move with a teeth push kick. Then gets his knees working. Big variety of manoeuvres has Silver Chat. And that was a bit of a clever manoeuvre there to see Pinon sprawled spread eagle onto the, the canvas. Well, Pinon really hasn't been able to get in. There's an elbow there by Silver Chat. Another elbow by Silver Chat. Silver Chat's having a good round in round three. Pinon can't get the sting of his grapple working. His knees have been kept away from the scoring zone. And the way in which Silver Chat is doing it is the way you're seeing now by mixing it up, standing back, firing in roundhouse kicks, like that, and then not staying in the grapple for too long, bottling it up and forcing the referee to break. Good move there by Pai Nung, move right in on top of Silver Chart. End of round three, and the way I'm reading this fight, I'd say Silver Chart in the blue is doing better. Let's have a look at the slow motion here as Pinon comes in for the grapple and there's the elbow by Silipachat. He's used a variety of weapons to keep Pinon at bay. <laughs> Round four in the process now of what's known as the most crucial round of Muay Thai. It's what's known as the setting up the win round. And let's see who can set up the win in this stanza. Pai Nung now getting a bit more desperate to get into the grapple quarters. He's not going to let Silver Chart dictate the fights like he had for the first three rounds. Silver Chart's going to have to be really on his toes to keep away from the knee power of Pai Nung in this round. Pai Nung. He'll be moving forward into the grapple, does so, puts the knee in. Break it by the roundhouse to the body by Silver Chart. Good tactics. More of those roundhouse teeth push kicks by Silver Chart. There he goes again. Keep throwing those roundhouse out to the body, scoring more points. And that's the one weakness that Pai Mung has. He leaves himself exposed badly to the roundhouse kick to the body. Pai Mung now. Coming in on to Silver Chart. Silver Chart. Into the grapple. Silver Chart and the blue being forced up against the ropes. Turns around, the knees back at Pai Nung. And as the boxers touch glove of the ropes, the referee breaks. You're not allowed to hold the ropes in Muay Thai. If you do that, the referee breaks immediately. In the grapple, if the grapple gets bottled up and there can be no movement, the referee will break. If the fighters stroke the ropes, the referee will break. If the referee sees there's no action taking place in the grapple, the referee will break. And that's the difference again in Muay Thai and other sports that take the, the ring, and that is the referee's job is to urge the fighters to perform to the best of their ability. You'll see the fighters, the referee all the time talking to the fighters to keep going. And he's, he's urging Pai Nung to keep on the attack. He's telling Silver Chart to not hold back, to keep on attacking, counter-attacking, to keep the action moving. That's what it's all about in Muay Thai, non-stop action. Pai Nung then into the grapple, but on that occasion, Silver Chart, who has more power Maybe those roundhouse kicks to the body are having their toll now on Pai Nung. As I said, this is the fourth round, the set-up winning round, and Silver Chart seems to be doing the setting up at this stage. Good roundhouse to the body again. As the bell sounds, and a little bit despondency on the face of Pai Nung who goes to his corner. Really, those roundhouse kicks have been superb by Silver Chart. It's been a glaring weakness in defence of Pai Nung, and Silver Chart has exploited it. Round five now. 
Last round, Silver Charts ahead on points. Pai Nung needs a knockdown, if not a knockout, to win this one. There he is, Pai Nung in the red, tacking on a Silver Chart. There he is, Pai Nung. Oh, what a hard punch there by Silver Chart. Was that an elbow? Was that a punch? Could have been a forearm, but uh, Silver Chat really got in there with a hard one, and that Pai Nung was stunned. And that would be enough for him to win this fight. There's no way that Pai Nung can win this without recording a knockout. Silver Chat has fought a brilliant fight. He's had his roundhouse kicks working, but then when he gets in close, he's always had the elbow there. He's been able to land that short, sharp punch when necessary. And now he's cruising around the ring in defensive style. So the tactician, Silver Chat, is doing everything right in this final fifth round. Pinoon doesn't seem to have the power left in him anymore. He's unable to get his, his knees working effectively. And he's now going for the wild punch that can somehow salvage this fight for him, but really he doesn't have the power in the punch anymore. And there's Silver Chat using tactics there, sort of an elbow defense, deep push kick, and he'll come back with his roundhouse kicks. He's got the answer, Silver Chat. He knows what he's doing, and he's doing it very, very well. Deep push kick, bottling it up now in, in the grapple, knees, there's not one area of this fight now that Pai Nung is able to get the better of. The roundhouse kicks by Silver Chat, keeping him away. Punch. And look at the despondency on the face of Pai Nung. Well, you wouldn't say he's capitulated, but I think he's a realist now. He knows that Silver Chat will only hurt him more if he moves in. And there it is. You can see the happy face of the silver chat, as he knows he's won this encounter. And there's that, it was a forearm elbow that did the damage, it was a bit of both. So we'll wait for the final decision, but there's no doubt silver chat will run out the victor. Uh, there it is, the winner on points, silver chat. An impressive performance of all round Muay Thai skills.